Hey guys and welcome to this video about Prey and the potential sequels that may be on the horizon. So, if you haven't yet guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, stay up to date with all the movie news we have going on around here. So, Prey star Amber Midthunder teases further threats in a sought after sequel. Amber Midthunder has revealed whether she thinks her character, Naru, will find herself in a possible Prey 2. So yeah guys, if you haven't seen it yet, do yourself a favour, go and watch Prey. It's the best Predator film since the original in my opinion. Some people are even saying that it's better than the original Arnold Schwarzenegger Predator. I'm not sure if I'm ready to go that far, but Prey was a pretty phenomenal movie. It was just stripped back to its, you know, back to its roots. You just had a hunter fighting against a Predator. And you know, that's kind of what we want. We don't want over the top CGI and all this, you know, all this kind of ridiculousness stuff it was just stripped back bare bones kind of what we want in a prey or predator movie and yeah it's really good so go and watch it if you haven't yet guys but let's jump into this article so prey star amber myth thunder has commented on a possible sequel revealing where she thinks her character the young comanche warrior naru will find herself should prey 2 ever happen speaking with collider mid thunder offered some insights into naru's mindset come the end of prey revealing that she should be on the lookout for further predators so she goes on to say quote that was always how I felt about it because, you know, the movie is such a journey that definitely as the character by the end feels like, well, also there's the, I think that does a part to feel like that. I think it's, I think I hope for the best, prepare for the worst kind of situation. I think that it feels as though they're not going to come back, but there are ultimately obviously all kinds of threats out there that are unforeseen. Even like the French fur trappers in the interaction and stuff like that. Those all discoveries are things that are out there and they had no idea about. So I think that it's necessarily preparing for more predators or whatever. I think it's just there. There are unforeseen threats and we got to be ready. So directed by Dan Trachtenberg, written by Patrick Ayerson and starring Amber Midthunder alongside Dakota Beavis, uh, Stormy Kip, Michelle Thrush, Julian Black, uh, Antelope and Dan D'Allegro as the Predator. Prey landed on Hulu last year and takes the Predator franchise into the past. I think that was a really, really smart move to move the Predator back into the past and kind of have like a hunter warrior Comanche uh, tribe kind of take on a Predator. I think that was such an interesting concept. And I think a lot of people gravitated towards that. And it just, yeah, it just, it really came off as really well. And it was just kind of a unique premise. Um, so set in the Comanche nation 300 years ago, Prey tells the story of a young woman, Naru, a fierce and highly skilled warrior. She has been raised in the shadow for some of the most legendary hunters who roam the Great Plains. So when danger threatens her camp, she sets out to protect her people. Prey saw huge success upon release, receiving pr uh, praise from critics and audiences alike. Prey reignites the flailing Predator series, and it needed a massive reignite because the last few Predator films, man, they were just atrocious. They were really, really bad. So it's really lucky for this one to come along, and it kind of revitalized people's interest in the franchise, which is really good. So Predator series, with many now calling for further installments led by Mid Thunder. A call has yet uh, yet to be officially answered. So, Prey Director has teased further sequels. While there has not yet been any official confirmation regarding the further instalment into the Predator franchise, Prey Director Tran, uh, Dan Trachtenberg sorry, has declared his desire to return and even teased really cool ideas he has in mind. So, he goes on to say, quote, I would like to be involved. I think there's several really cool things to do next and it would be interesting to embark on a few different things rather than and I think that some of the more exciting ideas are ones that people aren't considering, you know, the filmmaker said last year. Just the movie was like, I can't believe they haven't made this yet. And there's a few other ideas out there for me that are like, oh, they haven't done this yet. This would be cool. So yeah, there's that moment of inspiration that I've already had. Uh, one idea that's been popular among the fans is dropping the Predator into different time periods. Yeah, this has been a huge... Um, this has been a huge thing for their fans. You know, after seeing them, you know, taking on the Comanche uh, warriors in, in that time period, there are so many interesting time periods throughout history where you could drop predators and have them fight iconic hunters and, you know, iconic warriors throughout history. You could have samurais, you know, you could have Spartans, you could have Romans, you could have Greeks, you know, there's, uh, you know, Victorian period. There's, you know, there's so many interesting periods, like even having one in Egypt fighting against Egyptians, that would be super cool. There's so many interesting um, ideas that you could play around in different time periods that would be really, really cool to see. And it would keep each movie fresh and the, you know, the IP would be fresh. Um, we'd, we'd get to experience different cultures and the way that they fight against different predators. That would be super, super cool to see. So 
One idea has been uh, popular among the fans, dropping the Predator into different time periods, with a favourite plan being the land of the alien hunter in feudal Japan. Setting the monster against the samurai, played by Mortal Kombat and John Wick Chapter 4, uh, Hiroki... Hiro uh, sorry, I'm really bad at saying this. I'm just going to call him Sonata, guys. I'm really bad at pronouncing this one. Uh, John Wick Chapter 4 uh, star Sonata. It seems they tracked him back. That's something even better in mind, somehow. Uh, so for now, we'll just have to wait and see what the continuing adventures of the Predator have in store. Obviously, Prey is available to stream on Hulu, uh, Disney+, Plus, Hot Star, Star+, Plus, and Disney+. Plus. Yeah, guys, like I said, do yourself a favor. Um, if you did fall off the Predator franchise, do yourself a favor. Uh, trust me, if you got fed up with the Predator franchise, just go and watch Prey. It will reignite your interest in this, in this franchise. It was a really, really decent movie. Like I said, some people even think it's better than the original uh, Predator movie. I'm not quite there yet, but I think it's on par with the original Predator. I think it's I think it's that good. And the, the kills from the Predator are just insane. The CGI is really good. The story is just simple and laid back. And it's exactly what people wanted in a Predator movie. But yeah, I throw it off to you guys. What do you think about, you know, potential sequels for this Prey movie? Is it something that you're interested in? Do you think the idea of dropping Predators into different time zones is a good one? Or does that not interest you at all? Do you have any ideas about what you would like to see from a Prey movie? Jump into the comment section, guys, and I will see you soon.